Hey guys, today in this video, we're gonna be talking about iOS 18 settings that you should change right now. Of course, if you have already installed iOS 18 developer beta. So without wasting any time, let's first talk about all of the settings that you should change. So first one is that now you can change battery charging limit as it was previously set to 80%. So let's see how to do that. First of all, go to settings and here just tap on battery. And here you will see the option of charging, just tap on it. And here you can see the charge limit slider as currently it's set to 80% but now we can set it to maybe 85, 90, 95 or even 100%. Though I would not recommend you to set it till 100% but if you want you can still do that. But keep in mind that this feature is only available in iPhone 15 series. Alright, up next we have the allow audio playback feature. So let's see how to turn it on in settings. So first of all, go to settings and then scroll down a bit and here just tap on camera. And now from here tap on record sound. And here you'll see this new toggle of allow audio playback so make sure that it's turned on now what it does is that the audio playback will not pause when you are recording a video so let's just say you're playing a music or playing a youtube video and also simultaneously want to record video at that time then you can do that and in that particular video the audio of that music will still be playing now apart from this there are many settings in accessibility that you should know about so from here just tap on accessibility and here just tap on touch and if you scroll down you'll see this option of sound actions and enabling these sound actions will allow you to perform multiple actions quickly by just making sounds. So let's see how to do that. Just tap on it here. So let's first practice sounds before assigning these sounds an action. Tap on practice. E, E, La. Now our practice is done and also we know that what does this name of the sounds actually sound like. So now we just have to select the action. Right now, because SH is very easy to say, I'm gonna select it as an action. There's so many options here. So right now, let me select lock screen and now let's try that. Shh. Pretty amazing. So that way using different sounds, you can give them a particular action like so many options are here. You can choose from camera, control center, lock rotation, reachability, screenshot, shake, Siri, spotlight, and many, many more. And while we are here in the accessibility settings, let's just scroll down a bit and here you'll see the option of vocal shortcuts, which is currently turned off. So just tap on it and here you'll see this option of setup vocal shortcuts, where you can teach your iPhone to recognize a custom phrase you can say to quickly perform an action just like sound actions, but it's a little different because here we are using actual vocals. So just tap on setup vocal shortcuts and tap on continue. And now you have to choose an action. So let's choose this add portrait effect. Now we have to add a custom phrase that will be a unique command so that we can perform that action. So I've added my custom phrase iGeeksBlog and now just tap on go here iGeeksBlog iGeeksBlog And as you can see after we have given our precious vocals to this setting and now our action is ready. So iPhone will listen for iGeeksBlog and perform the action that is to add portrait effect. So just tap on continue don't share iGeeksBlog Select front and after we have clicked the photo, it automatically added blur to my photo without me needing to do anything. So it's a pretty amazing feature of vocal shortcuts that you can use to customize anything that you want in your iPhone and just by using your own vocals. And since you guys might have already known that in iOS 18, we have a new passwords app and in that passwords app, there's a setting as well. So just here, scroll down and tap on apps and now just search for password and just tap on the password app and here you'll see this option of delete leak passwords make sure that you toggle on so iphone can securely monitor your passwords and alert you if they appear in any known data leaks so this will help you a lot directly on your iphone whenever there is a chance that there might be secret data breach of your passwords now apart from this if we again go to accessibility and here tap on motion then here you'll see these three toggles autoplay animated images autoplay video previews autoplay message effects so make sure that they are toggled on as this way all of the animations and message effects in your messages app will play automatically as those new text effects which were introduced in iOS 18. And lastly, there's a new addition in network connectivity as well. So while you're on our settings, and if you just tap on Wi-Fi, and if there's any one Wi-Fi is connected, so just tap on the I button, and here you'll see this new option of rotate Wi-Fi address. So make sure that you toggle it on. Now doing this will change your Wi-Fi address periodically. So it will be hard for anybody to track your device or even your Wi-Fi. As tracking can happen whenever your address appears same to other devices and people using the same network as you. 
So this is a great security addition in iOS 18. So these were the top iOS 18 settings that you should change right now so that these new iOS 18 features can help you and make your iPhone more secure. And as other settings and features come, we'll always keep you posted about iOS 18. And if you've reached it, then definitely like this video, share it with your friends and family, and don't forget to subscribe to iGeeks Vlog. And with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Till then, keep enjoying your life.